Do you want to become more efficient with managing your files and folders in macOS? We have some time-saving tips to help you organize your files, do tasks more quickly with keyboard shortcuts, and customize your Finder options. First, let's go to the dock to open the Finder. Finder is designed to work very well with just your keyboard, so you don't need to use your mouse unless you want to. You can use the arrows on your keyboard to move between files and folders. To open a file or folder, hold down the command key and press the down arrow. To go up to the enclosing folder, press command up arrow. Quick Look is a great feature that lets you take a look at a file without having to open it. Just select the desired file and hit the spacebar to activate it. Now we can use the up and down arrows to take a quick look at the other files in this folder. Let's hit the spacebar again to close it. Now I'd like to move one of these files to one of this folder's subfolders. macOS has a convenient feature that allows you to move a file and open a folder at the same time. Just click and drag the file, hover over the folder for a second, and the folder will open automatically. Now I can just drop it in this subfolder. Don't worry if you start to move a file and then change your mind. Just drop it on the toolbar to keep it where it is. To quickly get to your frequently used folders, you can customize the Finder sidebar. You have the option to move any folder to the sidebar. If you want to get rid of clutter, remove folders by right-clicking and selecting Remove from Sidebar. If you want to see more information about the files and sort them, List View is a great option. Below the toolbar, you will see several headings, including name, size, and kind. If you right-click on one, you'll see more options. Let's add the heading Date Last Opened. Then let's resize this window to see the new heading. You can use these headings to get information about a file or use it for sorting. I'm going to sort by kind to get my Excel files together by clicking the heading. Now that the files are sorted, let's move them to the appropriate subfolder. If you hold down the Command key, you can select several at the same time and move them to a folder together. Next, let's check out this folder in Column View. This is a good option for viewing the contents of multiple folders and subfolders, and it gives you wide flexibility to move files across folders. To make content easier to view, you can resize the columns by dragging them. If you hold down the Option key while dragging one of the borders, all the columns will resize at the same time. If you want to better visualize your Finder contents, you may want to use Icon View. It shows each file as an image along with its name. If you are working with image files, this allows you to quickly identify them. To make changes to your Finder settings, you can go to the Preferences. From the Finder menu, select Preferences. Here you may change the items displayed on your desktop. If you have connected a flash drive or external hard drive and it's not showing on your desktop, check the box for External Disks. You might consider changing your default folder so you can go straight to this folder each time you open the Finder. Finally, if the Finder stops working or your folders disappear, you can restart it by using the shortcut keys Option Command Escape. You can use this any time one of your apps stops working. In this case, we'll select the Finder and click Relaunch. Then click Relaunch again. We hope these tips help you to get more from the macOS Finder. We invite you to try them out for yourself to see how they work for you. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.